Thousands of people signed the petition to save the old college building behind me, but it fell on deaf ears and it was granted for demolition. The demolition is now starting behind me and it's quite noisy and it's received numerous complaints from members of the public saying it is very noisy and that the building work has started sometimes as early as 7 a.m. They're now trying to find funds for a lawyer to fight the demolition going on and I've been talking to some of the local residents on what the latest situation is. We took our petitions into the uh, assembly. Kent's Gates wasn't there and uh, we went to the council meeting on January the 13th and, uh, you know, there's no point really, it was a done deal as far as I'm concerned, you know. And um, so the, our only way forward now and then this, this uh, well, they haven't demolished the building yet, as, as you can see, but um, they started sort of getting the building, creating all this mayhem and noise, you know, about a week ago now. So... Um, I think the only thing we can do now is uh, is take legal advice to see whether we can, um, you know, whether whether we can stop this demolition going on. Um, you know, we're not happy that the bat survey has been been done properly. Well, it's been going on now. They've been on site. This must be the second full week now that they've been on site. Um, the first week they were starting to arrive between. Um, sort of like half past six onwards to seven o'clock. There's a, a cabin generator that's sort of like right next door to my property. The generator's been going on. At one point it was ten to seven in the morning. It's been seven o'clock, half past seven. Whereas the guidelines from the council are for the work not only to be between eight in the morning and six in the evening. And then on Saturday it's only from eight till one. But they've just been contravening these times. Uh, as far as they're concerned, it, the noise is okay even to make a cup of tea. But I work, sh I work shift work for the emergency services and it, every, every minute that I can get peace outside those hours is precious. And them starting at ridiculous times in the morning, don't know if you can hear the sound now, this is just even them packing up and it's still noisy. So from living right next door to the site within feet of it, it's just, the noise is just horrendous. And just how much, you mentioned you work night shift, just how much has this affected your lifestyle? Oh, it's affected it greatly. So when I'm coming home off nights, the other morning I came home, the, the generator went on at 10 to 7 in the morning. I was just about to go to bed, so then I'm going to bed stressed, I'm not sleeping, I had another night shift to do afterwards. It's, it, you know, it's just, it's just unbearable. We asked developer JR Smart to comment earlier today, and they said they had nothing to say on the matter. So the residents of Splot will continue to fight the noise pollution happening behind me right now and hope that ultimately the building is not demolished. This is Matthew Harris for Hello Cardiff from the Old College Building.